Hi, in this video I'll be going over shifts to the demand curve. So we'll understand why we might want to shift our demand curve and then I'll go over some factors which will cause us to shift the demand curve, some reasons behind why we might do it. So we discussed the demand curve in a previous video, a couple of videos ago. So check out that video if you have not done so yet. I've drawn up a demand curve here and basically when we think of a shift of a demand curve when we shift to the left this is when there is a decrease in demand at every price and when we shift our demand curve to the right this is when there is an increase in demand at every price so if we just illustrate this on our diagram here, so we have a downward sloping demand curve, which we'll call D. Let's first consider a shift to the left. So we're going to shift our demand curve to the left, and this will become demand curve D1. And this is when there is a decrease in demand at every price, as I've written there. Sorry that this all doesn't quite fit on the screen at the same time. But yeah, there's a decrease in demand at every price and we can say our price is on the vertical axis So if we were to have price one, we'd see that demand curve one is giving us this quantity Q1 of demand Whereas demand curve D our original demand curve is giving us a quantity Q2 and clearly For demand curve D1 there is a decrease in demand and this will be true at every price if we were just to sort of see every single price. Clearly, the points on demand curve D1, they're all going to be less, there's going to be less demanded at each price. And so that's what a shift to the left does. And the opposite, if we shift the demand curve to the right, like so, and this becomes demand curve D2, well, at every price level, we're going to have more demanded than at our original uh, demand curve D. So a shift to the right, we have an increase in demand at every price. So what is going to shift our demand curve? And I've written out some examples. I won't go over each of these in much detail, but there are loads and loads of things that can shift our demand curve and will cause our demand curve to move. So Let's consider that we initially again have a demand curve D and we've got it on this axis with price or these axes with price on the vertical axis and quantity on the horizontal axis. And let's consider that we have a change in income and more specifically we're going to have an increase in income. So everyone in our economy or for simplicity we can just consider one person in our economy they have an increase in income, they have more to spend. So if we have an increase in income, and so initially we were consuming, we were demanding quantity Q1, and the initial price level was price P1, and now we've had an increase in income for our individual. So our price hasn't necessarily changed, but the person has a higher income, so they're able to consume a higher quantity. Maybe they'll consume this quantity, and this quantity is Q2. And let's consider if the price was up here, and we'd have price, I don't know, I've just used two, so let's say price three. Well, originally we would have demanded Q3, but now after we've increased our income, we'd demand maybe this much and we'd we'd have this much demand all the way over here and we'd demand Q4 and whatever. So an increase in income is going to effectively shift our demand curve to this demand curve D1. And as you can see, we've got a shift to the right. So this is just one factor that could shift our demand curve. As I say, there are lots of them, but a change in income is going to increase the demand for our good at every single price level because everyone has a higher income or because somebody has a higher income so this shifts our demand curve to the right and equally if we were to have a decrease in income the opposite would be true and we'd have a shift to the left to demand curve d2 as i've drawn it here 
So that's just one factor that can shift our demand curve. <clears throat> As I say, I've listed out a number of other possible things that could shift our demand curve. So let's say we have a substitute good, a substitute I will go over in a future video. However, this is just a good that we might purchase instead of our good. So here we have a demand curve, let's say in the market for iPhones and consider that we have a change in the price of an Android phone. And so if we increase the price of an Android, then we're going to increase the demand for iPhones. People are going to substitute uh, from, or they're gonna change consumption from Android to iPhone phones, and we're gonna have this shift to the right of uh, demand because more people are going to be demanding iPhones at every price level. And we can also talk about changes in the price of complements. So if we're again talk, thinking about iPhones, uh, what if the price of an iPhone charger has fallen, or what if the price of iPads have fallen, and we and we tend to use iPhones and iPads together, uh, then this can cause a shift in our demand curve to the right. If trends change, so for instance, if seasons change, uh, say we move into winter, then the demand for coats is going to increase, and we'll have a shift in the right of the demand curve. And if we move into summer, the demand for shorts and t-shirts might increase. And we could have loads of macroeconomic variables changing. So if we decrease our interest rates, we might have an increase in demand. So we shift our demand curve to the right. We can think of loads of government policies where they're incentivizing consumption of certain goods. We could have taxes on fuel, which will decrease our demand for fuel and so on. So loads of factors that can shift our demand curve. The trick is just knowing how to show this graphically and think of the intuition for it. We're having an increase in demand, so we're shifting our demand outwards to the right. And it's worth noting, as we discussed when we talked about the demand curve, that a change in price causes a movement along the demand curve, not a shift, because price is on our axis here. So we don't have to shift the curve, we just use our graph to see what happens with a change in price. A change in any other variable that isn't on these axes is going to cause the curve to shift. So that will wrap up this video. Please do drop a like if it was at all useful. Subscribe to add some econ to your subscription feed and check out the playlist for lots more introductory economics.